Hey guys, it's Ninjas. Cherry me. And we're here with my new let's play of Metroid Zero Mission. I only said Metroid Prime. <laughs> anyway, this is the first of a long series of Metroids. Yes, we're gonna play all the Metroids up to Metroid Prime right now because that's all I have. So expect Zero, I mean Fusion, all the other games. Super Metroid, regular Metroid, blah blah blah. But anyway, let's get started with this. If you're looking at me, I don't know anything about Metroid. Well, this is basically a recap of the first game, so you'll learn. Planet Siege, I was called to this home, to this place home. I called this place home before in peace time, but blah, 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 basically saying that, you know, she's finally going to take on her first battle, reminiscing of her first mission. Oh, Zero. Oh, okay. I know why it's called Zero Mission now. Yes. And if y'all are old school Metroid players, you start off in the same place as the original Metroid started. So let's get going. Right now our beam shoots really short, so we got fix that eventually, but right now we go over here, and we get the morph ball. Awesome. Yeah. And if, you know, the morph ball, you have down on the down direction thingy. One of Samus' most favorite moves, well, most iconic, <laughs> iconic moves <laughs> is, the morph, is the ball. Yeah, you become really small, and you're able to fit through high gaps. So anyway, let's keep going. I always wonder how how this did not hurt Samus. That's a good question. Turning I, into that ball and rolling under things that are. It was probably know. the training with the Kozo, Kozo, Chozos that she had because they raised her. But I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I should know that. Actually. I, I'm gonna look that up later. And I it's probably the suit itself. Well, yeah, but like she's very flexible without it. I would imagine. I would guess flexible enough to turn into, like, to ball up. And, you know, the suit does the rest. Well, yeah, the suit does a lot more for her. So I guess it is the suit itself. And this is All she needs to do is at least be flexible enough to, you know. Yeah. Well, anyway, in this game, from the original game, we got wave points basically telling you where to go for all the people that's, that don't know where to go in Metroid. So this is like. So it, what is that? What is that guy? That's a Chozo statue. Oh, that's cool. Those things are creepy, but cool. Like I don't know the history, but like I love Metroid, but I don't know the history behind it, which is weird. But if you ask me about Sonic, I can spit Sonic at you all day, but I'm starting to hate Sonic. But like I love Metroid, but I love Metroid, but I don't know shit about it. But. This shit is fun. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Later, there's something special over there. Rather later. But, um, I know the Chozos, they raised there, and they're like bird like people. Like, like Ridley Bird? Um, I'm not sure. Like, maybe Ridley came from. Like, I, I remember reading somewhere before that Ridley and Samus used to. Like, this is all off of old memory, guys, so please don't fanboy me or fangirl me if I'm wrong, but, like, Ridley and Samus used to go to the same academy or some shit and train with each other before Ridley went crazy or some shit like that. Correct me if Sounds I'm wrong. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, yeah, that's what I read long ago in the Nintendo Power. Like, I could be wrong in getting my memories mixed up, but whatever. And here's the long thing. Basically, now we're able to fire our beam further so basically you know like this room is kind of here to demonstrate seeing that i could actually touch that wall i can shoot past this like all the way towards the screen when do you get the balls that you drop huh later you mean the bombs anyway yeah but like these statues little thing like if their hand is glowing you can morph inside of it and recharge your energy and missiles and all that good shit Little stuff, but like um the more the bombs that you was talking about, like I I get them a little bit later. I don't know if I'm gonna get them in this video, but I'm gonna try. Cause you know I've been practicing a little bit. My thing is I don't ever save, so I need to learn to save. I'm gonna try to do this without save states, just play the game. 
because I am I'm, I'm running this from the emulator. Unfortunately, I don't think Zero Mission is on the Wii Shop. The e Shop. And if you come over here, there's nothing. You can't get through that door. The only way you can get through it is if you destroy enemy, all the enemies, but there ain't no enemies in this hallway right now. So basically, you run all the way over here just for the game to show you this. Like, no real shit. Basically, later stuff. But I don't know why the game makes you do that, but it does. may not have mentioned this, but I have beaten this game before. Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to do something here. No. Yeah. And here's our next waypoint. Checkpoint waypoint. Well, Samus is like, is Samus even a human? Yeah, Samus is a human. Then why in the hell is she on planet? What the fuck? She, I think she was an orphan. Or her parents died something and Chuzzle decided to raise her. Oh, okay, like aliens. Yeah. Decided to take her in. Like I said, I don't know much about the Metroid lore. lore besides, I, I can tell you the story of Super Metroid many times I played that game, but, but it, it's obvious what happens to Super Metroid, so. Um, is that where I need to go? Unlike the original Metroid, it took five missiles. Um, there's green doors that opens with super missiles, I believe. And then orange doors that open with power bombs. That's, uh, I'll say when I'm about to end the video. Um, or when I'm about to fight the boss. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, look, it's the little Super Mario turtles. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm actually playing through the Metroid series, mainly for me, for myself, because I said I was going to do Metroid, but I don't even know when. We got a request from a fan. Yeah, we got a request from a friend, but he wanted me to do Fusion, but I decided to just go ahead and do Zero Mission. I'm going to do Fusion after Zero Mission. I'm going to break the sequence of events of the story so I can get Fusion, because Fusion is not really one of my favorite games. And this is basically a boss, which runs from you if you don't beat it fast enough. So basically, you just take the missiles that you just got, and that's the only way you can hurt this guy. How's he supposed to do it? He only uh, opened his eye like twice. Well, I don't think the first encounter you can meet him, but the second time you can. If you're fast enough. Because he drops um, a power up to it if you beat him. Which is the charge beam, which allows you in its name, allows you to charge up the shot. Not all that important, but hey, the more power ups, the better, right? And here's the red door. Take a muscle. Run through here real fast. Just I like running through here. You can stop the fight though, but they're not really good. Like yeah, like a friend of ours requested to do the Metroid Fusion, so I'm gonna go ahead and honor that request. But after your own mission. Yeah, on our on our channel, you can make a request. Yeah, it's and our we'll first. try our damnedest to do it. Yeah, he, he was the first, so yeah, like don't start bombarding us with requests now because you see that we're gonna do it. We'll yeah. tell you no if we don't. But like um, right now, I'm gonna do the Metroid, basically the whole Metroid series. 
because one, I like Metroid, and two, we had a bad idea. Fuck, I always miss that shit. And if you ever need more missiles, you can shoot these spikes and you need more. Missile drops always drops two extra missiles. So that missile. Oh. Got him. Alright. You wouldn't believe how many times I tried that on my practice round. I just never beat him until today. On my practice round. That's it. Yeah, because I only took three down hits when he went back up to the ceiling. Shoot to stay high. Shut up, you. Anyway. I don't I don't do the Metroid. I don't play the Metroid, so I don't have anything to say. Anyway, here's our charge shot, basically. There you go. Also, if you charge it and jump, you do a look like a mini it's called a charge attack but it's kind of like a mini screw attack but it's only good as long as you're charging and here's the energy tank these are basically our parts and um no i'm not going to do a 100 percent run i will grab as much power ups as i can that i remember where they are i never 100 percent in the way game Unfortunately, there's that. Crap. No, I never want to I only, I always get close. Like I'll get all the power ups or something, but I never beat it in a lot of time. So I don't count it as a one hundred percent. But you know, you get that if you beat it in a certain amount of time, you get that famous, yeah, Stamus take off her armor, and I always get her to take off her helmet, and that's it. If you want me to strip, you gotta Basically. do better than that. Basically. But like, yeah, I could always find all the power-ups and shit, but then like, don't beat it in the amount of time. Come back when you got some real scratch on you. Right. Yeah. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna try for 100 percent but I will pick up as many power-ups as I can. If y'all tell me in the comments where they are, if I'm close to it, I will grab them. I'm looking at you, Henry. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And this is where I hear I the bombs. And I think after I come out of here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit that save room and call this a video. Bomb! Really? Oh, sorry. <laughs> bombs. Basically, uh, you see them blocks down there? Those are basically bomb blocks. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to use the bomb. Basically, you know, you can't shoot these, you can't, yeah, the missiles, nothing. Only bombs can break the blocks. So there you go. And you come back here, here's a missile expansion or what missile upgrade, whatever you want to call it. Was there something like here? No. Also, the cool thing about this game, like, I, I remember in um, Metroid um, Fusion that you couldn't do this. You can't, like, you can't lay as many bombs as you want. Like, see how I'm doing. This is basically how I bomb jump. So, like, I think in Met in um, Metroid Fusion, you dropped th only three bombs, so it made it really hard for me to bomb jump. Yeah, because I never learned properly how to bomb jump. Even though all the stuff I did in uh, Super Metroid, like sequence breaking and shit that require you to bomb jump, I always just spam the bomb button. I'd never, I'd never say anything. I should say Talking to that much. Oh, it was down there. Fuck. <laughs> I looked at the map the wrong way. Alright, guys. Look at what we have here. Alright, guys. Uh, wolf? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell I was going for. Oh, no. Well, anyway, guys, with us saving, this is the first, the end of the first part of Super Metroid. Super Metroid. Um, Metroid. God damn it, I was about mission. to say Metroid Zero. Prime. Zero Mission. This is Metroid Zero Mission. So this is Ninjas. Jamie. And I'll see y'all with the next episode. All right? Later. Bye.